So, we'll leave the capo on. Um, the strum for this one, the, the chords, by the way, are C, C slash E, which is just a C chord with an E bass. F, easy, but we're going to do it as an F major 7 rather than the bar thing. And a G. You can do it that way, you can do it whatever way you want. So we've got down, up, hit, down, down, hit, down, up, hit, down, down. That's the basic feel of the song. Then the embellishments are down, up, hit, down, down, hit, down, up, hit, down, down, little again. So down. The way you're getting that is you want to anchor the wrist by putting the wrist actually on the strings. Start to do it. And the whole idea is to make that seamless. So that goes on and on. Um, when you hit, try and let the pick land sort of around here. And it's more, it's more the sort of side of your thumb. It's not, it's like you're knocking on a, on a door, but it's more the side of the thumb that actually lands really loud. After that, I'll just go through the chords and I'll put them on the street for you. It's D minor. D minor. G to A minor, then D minor, then there's a G, but then to the beginning. That's all it is. That thing, there's a few ways you can do it. This is what is an easy way. A minor, A minor slash G. Which is, yeah. Without love. Then there's an F, and then you can do a right <laughs> with nothing. Then F, G, C. Baby, we fell love right where, so where we are. That's an easy way of doing it. Um, simple. The other things to think about is when you're doing the finger picking. Watch my right hand here. Yours is a bit more like this. You can actually video yourself. They should be kind of together, working kind of like this. Yours hand was a little bit too much of an angle like this. It's kind of you come this way. They're kind of together. There's a little bit of separation, but they're not like tight. They're very loose, but they're not this. Your way was a bit more like that. Um, and you want to be a bit more against pick with more gusto. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that we discussed. Um, oh yes, of course, holding the pick, right? So uh, uh, let me show you. I'm holding the pick with three fingers here, just kind of like a loose pick when I'm strumming. Right. When you're playing individual notes, you can do this cool thing, which we didn't really talk about, but you can do this, check it out. I'm doing this. It's like I push this finger out a bit, and that allows you to kind of stabilize the pick where it's straight. You could practice just doing this. Various spots along the continuum. It's like that finger stabilizes it. Um, if, I mean, this is, I'm getting advanced here, so don't worry too much.